Hey, 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 it's Aaron again. I'll be working on these Clark's Desert Boots. Greetings to Mr. Red Horse. Thank you, sir, for keeping us busy. I hope you like your boots and I hope you like the video. Look at that. This is totally worn out. Now, the customer, uh, first of all, I know the customer could get a new pair. It's cheaper than what the result is gonna cost, of course. But, and he knows that, he knows that, okay? Just in case someone be like, better buy new pairs, it's cheaper, probably yes. But uh, he really likes the boot and he wants to get him repaired. What he wants is the Vibram 377 Christie pick. So let's get to it, guys. This makes the leather suffer because I had to like break it in a little bit because this is gonna feel a little bit different than this. Not to mention that this is already like curved in and this is totally flat so they will feel a little bit different. So basically the customer needs to break this in the footbed. Right guys, the reason I'm doing it like this is because, I mean, obviously I have to use this as my uh, template. But if I do it like this, well, the reason I wanna have a little extra material when I glue this, because I don't have too much, like a lot of, especially this part, I don't have too much extra lip to do the final sanding on this. So I wanna have a, a little extra material and the only way of doing that is the way I'm doing it. At least it's the only way I can do it. So now I have this marked and everything. I can just turn it like this. Now I can trace it. And I know that's where I have to glue my boot. Not this one, but the left side. And still have the little extra material. All right? If that makes sense to you guys. <laughs> I can glue this without having to cut this leather on the line because um, we always once we put the meat so we always sand it a little bit and I don't want to compromise this little we uh, weld <laughs> and that's why I'm doing this
usually we don't do good chunks when we're doing wet salt, but this is extremely, extremely soft. And also, the structure of the wood is super soft, so might as well put a fiberglass shank. But I had to sand this down a little bit to make the shank sit flat. Better safe than sorry. Sure, this is gonna help. Yep, just like that. Let me show you this as i mentioned you see how they did this they over sand this part so i have to be very careful at this part but we made it we made it also i didn't use my outsole stitcher 
on this type of boots because I wanted to make sure I aim every single hole. I didn't want to risk it. One. Ok, mi bandota. Pues ahí quedaron las clas súper, súper ligeritas. De por sí, no es que empezara mucho la otra suela, pero sí pesan menos estas que las que traía. Y ahí está, mire. Ahí quedaron. Esperamos que le gusten al cliente. Sazo. Ahí está. Aparentemente es un trabajo fácil. Y lo que es único que es fácil es quitar la suela, porque ahí de lo demás es medio, medio laborioso. Laborioso, perdón. Tiene su chiste. ¿Sale? So, ahí estamos mi banda, nos vemos en el próximo saludos para Kike Maverick hasta luego